introducing the newest member to the family my brand new AR-15 from Black Rain Ordnance uh, the Gatson Flag Edition this is a really cool rifle it really is you know been looking into AR-15s for a while now and um I was gonna build me one, but uh, I decided since I never owned an AR-15 yet, that instead of building me one, I was gonna buy one that is already completed and basically tear it down and learn, you know, how they function, how to build them, and all that jazz, so I would be more prepared if you could say to actually build an AR-15 so went online and actually found this one and it really caught my eye when I saw it you know I love yellow you know it's one of my favorite colors and all uh, with my four wheeler being yellow and my car being yellow and a lot of other things that I like being yellow you know it's definitely something that when I saw it I loved it so this was right up my alley you know and first to start off talking about the brand so Black Rain Ordnance it's a good company it really is you know and um, they make some pretty high quality stuff but uh, a lot of people in the gun community, uh, they do actually think that uh, the Black Rain line is uh, overpriced, for say, for what it is. And I can kind of see where they're coming from, you know. At the end of the day, it's an AR-15 or whatever. And, um, you know, it, it's nothing too, too special. But... Like I said, I can definitely see why they charge the prices they charge because when you actually get one in hand and look at it in person, you can definitely tell that a lot of this gun is customized and, you know, just screams out black rain with all their logos lasered into it and all that jazz. So, with that being said, uh, I do love the Black Rain line. I never had a problem with them. Uh, I did shoot a Black Rain before, but, um, but yeah, other than that, you know, like I said, I never heard anything bad about them. You know, a lot of people don't like them because of the price point, and they think that they should be cheaper and everything, but, like I said, you know, as far as gun failure failures and you know and uh product quality as far as stuff breaking and all like that i never really hear too much stuff bad about black rain so like i said when i saw this online and it was actually on sale at the time you know i, I knew i had to get it or whatever and i just thought that you know the laser etching for the don't tread on me snake is just so freaking cool you know that is bad ass you know i love it i really really do and um so that that's what really caught my eye and, and it is lasered and you know real real nice as far as the black rain is lasered and also you know that's one thing i can say about black rain is they are 100 percent proud of their guns because a lot of these companies and all like that you know they'll make a rifle and you might see a name right here and maybe a few other places but man the black rain logo and the black rain endorsement on their products is everywhere they got you know i can't even count how many of their logos are all around this gun you know got there there all through the barrel 
um, comes with uh, black ordnance, black rain ordnance, uh, charging handles all the way up to the barrel. I mean the uh, handguard, and yes, even actually the barrel, as you can see, has a black rain logo on it. So it's definitely something that they're very, very proud of. And I can't blame them, you know. I'd be proud of, the, proud of this too because, you know, it's, it's, I like the fact that you don't really see handguards like this or whatever too much, especially with, you know, uh, lasered in uh, words or stuff like that too much and everything, you know, has the Let It Rain dust cover, has a, logo right there and everything so like i said um this rifle definitely has a lot of their logo everywhere so it's definitely something that you can tell that they're very proud of so starting off with what i've done to it so far and i do plan on doing a lot more to it or whatever and i mean maybe not even a lot more but i definitely have a few things that i want to do to it you know since i have got it uh i did do a few things to it so you know i'm just gonna go over some of the things that i did to the rifle so far but um and i'll go over what i would like to do to it after so starting off with the basics had to get an optic you know the one thing about black rain is they do not come with uh backup iron sights nowhere on the gun you know so you do have to install your own uh iron sights and get you an optic or whatever i actually went Let's see if we can turn this around. But I actually went with the Sig Sawyer Romeo 5 Red Dot. You know, it, um, looked up a lot of reviews about these optics. And um, for the price point, and this was actually on sale when I bought it for like 120 bucks, 130 bucks. And I think they're regular priced at like 150 or 160 or something like that. So with all the reviews that I watched, I didn't know what red dot that I wanted to go with. And um, the Sig Romeo 5 was definitely up there as far as reviews and price points of what I wanted out of uh, red dot for an AR-15. So that's what i went with i just went with the basic model the romeo 5 i would like to get the one with the circle uh red dot and all like that but for now this is good enough you know and um definitely would like to also get a, a magnification for it so i can see things farther and be able to aim down a little bit faster so that's uh first of all did the uh did the optic you know next uh was the grips it did come with a certain style grip that had a, a like a little pointy thing for your finger to rest in right here i forgot the actual grips that what they're what they're actually called but it did come with one of them so and i did not like the way it was digging into my hand or whatever especially when you shoot it so I changed the grip to a Magpul K2, which definitely like this grip. It, feel, it has a really nice texture to it. Um, definitely a really nice grip. You know, I think I never actually tried the K2s yet. So this is actually my first K2. And I think from here on out that I would probably stick with K2 grips until I at least find something else that I really like because I, I just love the way it fits my hand I love the actual grip on it and you know it's Magpul so great company you know I, I can't really go wrong with Magpul so installed a new grip on it 
uh, I actually put a vertical grip on it as well. I was uh, debating if I wanted a hand stop type grip or a forward grip. But um, at the end of the day, I did go with the RVG Magpul vertical grip, which is nice. I like it. It's just kind of the same as a K2, but a little different texture and everything. And um, definitely like it, you know, uh, gives you the angle and gives you a lot more uh, comfort and be able to handle the rifle more when it's in action so definitely uh something i would recommend once again it is magpul so you know they very seldomly to me at least make things that are bad or not worth it so that's another thing i did uh the next thing i've done to this rifle is i what i did oh so let me turn it around. Um, I actually changed the bolt carrier. It, uh, the bolt carrier came with a Black Rain Ordnance bolt carrier. It had their logo right here and all. And it was a really nice bolt carrier. But um, I actually switched up the trigger. And the trigger that I'm using... Uh, you actually needed an M16 cut style uh, bolt carrier. So I definitely had to change that in order to install the trigger and all and work properly. So I went with the Arrow Precision's uh, M16 cut bolt carrier, which is real nice, you know, uh, very durable. Another uh, pretty good brand. A lot of people that uh, build rifles and everything and build things they normally go with arrow precision arrow precision because of quality and uh, price point so change the uh, bolt carrier um, when I change the bolt carrier I also needed to put a better uh, what you call it buffer tube kit in it so I did switch it to a H2 style uh, buffer tube to make it a little bit more heavier and um i actually am a big fan of the h2s and the h3 uh, style buffer tube kits and everything so it's another little thing that i did to help the trigger and all and i was actually told in order to have the trigger perform uh the way that i wanted it to an h2 or an h3 basically a heavier buffer tube would be something that i did need so that's another thing I installed. It did come with this, uh, let me see the brand. It did come with the, let's see. It did come with the MFT stock. I think it's called the minimalist stock. Uh, it's just a straight little uh, bent kind of stock on it uh has five positions that you can raise it and lower it and everything and you know you can go all the way in go all the way out uh has like i said has five positions and all like that uh has some spots for slings if you ever wanted to mount a sling on it and all that goodness and everything so definitely like that you know and that's another thing i said about the black rain you know they do put some pretty good parts on these guns you know so that's why i don't understand a lot of the time why people give black rain such a hard time or whatever like i understand that it is a more expensive rifle but for quality and what you're getting it's a really good rifle you know so another thing that i did to it was i put a new trigger on it now this trigger is pretty damn cool if you ask me you know i mean as we all know uh lot they they have a lot of triggers out there in the gun world and everything and you actually have a pretty good uh options to pick out of so, and I wanted something that I can have fun with and 
be able to do what I wanted to it and everything so I was always interested in binary triggers now if you don't know what a binary trigger is a binary trigger is uh, basically like almost like a double action trigger where you uh, put it on binary and when you pull the trigger it shoots and when you let off the trigger it shoots another round so you can constantly go like that and that is the binary trigger so I was very interested in the binary triggers and also I actually looked up a few reviews on binary triggers and everything and they had Franklin Armory and uh, they also have the uh, Fostec ones and um, for the price point that I was looking at I actually went with the Fostec Echo Sport model which is a really nice trigger or uh, whatever you know it's cheaper than the Echo 2 and I actually heard from a lot of reviews that even though it's cheap, even though the Sport is cheaper, it's kind of better than the Echo 2 because of trigger pull and all that jazz. You know, and the only difference between them, honestly, you know, I mean, I never tried an Echo 2 yet, but supposedly the only differences between them is the Sport, in order to put it in binary, they have a little switch right above the trigger and you flip it to the other side and that semi and then you flip it to this side and that is binary I don't know if you can see but it also has everything labeled now when it's in binary mode it's labeled echo so it's basically an echo mode and the other side let me flip it And as you can see, it says, let's see if we can see that. It says semi. I don't know if you can see that, but other side says semi. So, pretty cool freaking trigger. You know, uh, it also comes, you do have to build these triggers yourself. Not technically build them. I mean, there's a little building into it, but nothing, something that you can actually handle and nothing too hard or whatever. It does come with a lot of instructions and everything so you know you just take it step by step and it's a pretty pretty straightforward trigger to install so that was pretty cool and it also comes with its own um selector switch or whatever that you have to install with it so thought that was pretty cool and um like i was saying the echo sport switches from here at the top of the trigger and the echo 2 is basically a drop-in trigger drop-in binary trigger that has a three position selector so you can go from safe to fire to binary where it says full instead of full it would be putting it in binary mode or as Fostec would say putting it in echo mode so that's the main difference between the both or whatever as far as what I know so like I said I just went with the cheaper it has a lot of good reviews and all so I thought the echo 2 I mean the echo sport would be perfect for me for what I wanted to do with it now I think that might be it oh and I also have got some let me move the gun out the way a little bit uh, since this is a uh, gats and flag the don't tread on me snake on it um they do sell a good bit of parts for the ar-15s that's customized for the don't tread on me theme i guess you could say so um i did go ahead and purchase uh don't tread on me mag which is really nice from mft also but um the only problem with this is you know um i didn't realize it you know in the pictures it looked uh identical but uh these are two different yellows this is more of a sunflower yellow and this is more of a bright brighter yellow or uh 
canary yellow, I guess you could say. So it is two different types of yellows, but it still is pretty badass, I think. You know, definitely love uh, the, I guess it's painted on there or something. Oh, it's, you know, not yet. It's, it's got to be painted on there, but still and out. Very cool mag. Uh, so I got two of them. Um, got have another one. Some few other companies also sell Don't Tread On Me magazines. So um, I actually bought another one, which is all of these are regular P mags. And um, super nice. I definitely like this one because you don't have to match it to the gun and everything and uh has the print on both sides and uh black rain actually sells a don't tread on me edition magazine uh that looks similar to this but supposedly instead of printed on there it's uh laser edged so i will be looking into getting one of those also but um for now and, and honestly with the theme of this gun i kind of and as much money as i did pay for it uh I do wish that it would have came with the laser etched uh, P mag, but it didn't, you know, so it is what it is, you know, but they do give you a uh, Black Rain Ordnance Magazine, also P mag, for your, uh, uh, I don't know if it's P mag, but they definitely give you a Black Rain Ordnance Magazine. For your rifle you know maybe some kits might give you more some kits might give you less mine only came with one so pretty cool and um you know with the binary trigger uh the thing about them is you shoot really fast with them and um a lot of people say if you're gonna get a binary trigger uh you're gonna need a lot of ammo if you want to have some fun so I actually bought a drum. This is, I want to say, the D60 model drum from PMAG. And, um, really nice drum. Holds up to 50 rounds and everything. Super, super easy to load. Uh, it's not stressful on it. It's not super, super hard. It has a button right here that every time you load, you press that inwards, like if you can see you press it inwards and it slides the round down to where you can keep stacking them up and it's not too big you know it's not super big super bulky so i thought this would be a pretty cool addition to add with the binary trigger so that is another thing and um it also comes with a bag for black rain it is a black rain ordnance rifle bag and all like that which is not a bad bag or whatever but this is one of the complaints that i do have about black rain is i, I just feel like if you're paying this much money for a nice rifle like this i do actually feel like they should have added at least a better bag with it instead of a plain old regular bag or whatever which it is what it is by the end of the day you know i can always get a different uh bag or case but like i said uh with with, with how much the guns cost for black rains i do feel like it should come with uh, a better case and all like that it has uh this case actually has three mag holders and uh zips up and all and that's about it very basic and it has some padding inside and all but very basic bag it comes with you know i wasn't the happiest about that but like i said at the end of the day it is what it is you're paying for the gun you're not paying for the bag so uh another thing is their custom uh handrails and m locks or whatever are beautiful you know it has picatinny rails already installed into the handrail and uh it also has a little slanted one and it doesn't have one at the bottom i did go with the strike industries covers 
for the bottom so I'll have somewhere to put my hands and fingers at or uh, whatever but these hand guards dude are super nice I love the style of this black rain ordinance uh, hand guard you know I, I definitely think it's an eye catcher and one of the best looking hand stops out there I mean handrails out there so thought that was pretty cool you know especially with all the mountain uh, effects to it you know it does have the logo right there as I showed earlier uh, it has more at the top and it kind of goes down a little bit and everything is on angles and all like that so it can fit your hand perfect you can uh, basically put your thumb right there and you know let it rock so um the next thing is uh what else they did oh like I, I don't know if i mentioned this before i think i might have but they do have the uh the black rain ordinance charging handle i can't do it right now but they have their logo on that that's pretty cool i will be changing this to uh don't tread on me charging handle that is ambidextrous but that is another video for another day and um the one thing that like i said that caught my eye about this rifle and i feel like the best thing about this rifle that it comes with is the don't tread on me snake you know honestly like i said this is the best quality of this rifle is that don't tread on me snake it is all laser etched in there so it is super super nice and definitely an eye catcher and when you bring this gun to the range it will be a conversation starter for sure so that is my favorite favorite thing about this gun is the don't tread on me snake etched in at the side and they also have their logo and all right there um turning the gun around like i said uh other than that they do have their dust cover uh this is a black rain ordinance dust cover uh all their dust covers from what i know say let it rain when it flips open uh that's pretty cool and um yeah about to say other than that that's about it and like i said it does come on um, they do i guess forge their own barrels i'm not super sure if they for sure uh forge their own barrels but they do have their logo on the barrel and it also comes with an a2 style bird cage you know so definitely a few things that i want to do to the gun and um kind of upgrade it a little bit more just make it that more better you know i'd like to get maybe some different hand stops up there you know like i said i would like to get the uh the magnifier maybe like the romeo 3 or 4 to go with the romeo 5 i mean the juliet 3 or 4 sorry to go with the romeo and um maybe you know like i said just little things like uh i definitely like the dust cover but maybe go with like a don't tread on me snake uh dust cover and um they also have the forward assist little caps that has the don't tread on me snake uh definitely like to do that um what else i would like to get a light and a laser for it i thought that would be pretty cool and uh, maximize the maximize it as a home defense weapon as also uh what else uh, i would definitely maybe like to look into a better uh muzzle or a compensator you know uh, maybe just look into a different one or a better one in that fact um but other than that oh yeah and i want to put a sling on it you know to kind of match it and everything where i can kind of pull it out when i need to and, and have it on me and everything but um but yeah but other than that i think that is about it to what i actually want to do to this rifle so this is the like i said once again this is the black rain ordinance gatson flag edition ar-15
beautiful, beautiful rifle. You know, and definitely something that I really, really like. And the newest addition to the family. So, be on the watch out for some videos of it at the range. And also be on the lookout of things that I will be doing to it. And parts that I will customize. I'm going to try to at least put um i might at least try to put the things on it and then do a video of it with multiple parts customized instead of just doing video by video by video of each part so you know that's why i was going to do a video when i first got it but i knew that there was a few things that i wanted to do to it quickly so i did do them few things and then i decided to do the video after so i can go over all of the things that I did to the gun and some of the things that I want to do to the gun so there it is my new AR-15 super nice rifle super nice AR-15 super nice design from a super nice company so as of normal <clears throat> thanks for watching really appreciate it you know um definitely be on the lookout for more gun videos from me um i also bought uh, another gun basically um that i'm gonna be showing y'all pretty soon i'm just waiting to get uh some more parts in for it so i can go over everything that i've done to it and all that so Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification button for new videos and everything, and um, y'all have a good day and be safe out there, you know. Safety is one of the main things that I try to practice, even though I mess with guns, you know. And honestly, I practice safety with everything I do in life, as far as riding four-wheelers, uh, messing with guns, driving, everything. I practice safety you know uh, this whole time the gun is unloaded I do not have a magazine in it so don't have to worry about that I will never play with a loaded gun on camera so that's that once again and I am not advocating uh, any sales of firearms also this is just the gun out of my collection that I really liked and I thought was super cool and I thought y'all would really really like to see it so that's that once again thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video